Clarice asks a question. She says, Corey, is procrastination a sin? Is procrastination a sin? Well, it's not a sin. What it is, is it's a hindrance. However, procrastination can turn to sin. Procrastination, as a matter of fact, let me just type in the word, uh, another word for procrastination. Another word for procrastination would be what? Lazy. So if we just type in lazy, let's put it on the screen. There's a few proverbs that deal with this. Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy one to those who send them. You send somebody to do something, they're lazy. Oh, wow. I sent the wrong person. Or Proverbs 12, 27. A lazy man does not roast his prey, but the precious possessions of a man is diligence. 1519, the way of the lazy is as a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. Laziness can be a problem. You don't get things done or procrastinate. Then that's what it is. It's just a, a nicer word. Some <laughs> some psychologist's words, uh, his way of making lazy sound something. It's, I, I've diagnosed you with, with a, an acute case of procrastination. Well, just not doing what you should do. Now, it again, it can lead to sin. There are a lot of things, a lot of traits that we have as people that are not preferable, that are not good, but they're not necessarily sin. Everything that's not good is not necessarily a sin. Let me be honest with you. Being stupid is not a sin. Corey used a bad word. No, being stupid is not a sin. Let me give you an example. Using a public restroom without a barrier, a truck stop without a barrier. You see my point? not a sin using this using a, pu a public toilet without a barrier it's not sin it, it's, it's not sin it might be stupid but it's not sin amen 